Okay guys, we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna get right into it. On the left side, we're gonna have the PC, and on the right side, we are gonna have the MacBook. Each exponential moving average is exactly the same. The only ones you're not going to be paying attention to is the yellow exponential moving average. On the left side, it is a 16, and on the right side, it is an eight. Okay, we're going to be using an X to point out all the discrepancies between both of them. So we're gonna start with the left side. We have the 200, which is the dark blue here. That's the first X. And on the right side, we have the light blue here, which is the 200 as well, okay? We have, excuse me, that's the 50. The 200 is the white down here, okay? So that looks perfect. Now we have the green, which is the 800 exponential moving average. Okay. Now, what I want to point out the discrepancy, I'm gonna use a white circle here, is right here. So if you guys can see that there, those two exponential moving averages should be touching on the same chart, so they're not touching there. And the second discrepancy I wanted to point out is right here. And that's at the 3000 exponential moving average. So as you can tell, that's a significant difference in price, okay? So this is something I need you guys to start watching out for. If you're a PC user, if you're a Mac user, from the information I've compiled, I've used an iPad and I've used an iPhone even an Android and the exponential moving averages match up perfectly to the PC. Okay. So the Mac, I would definitely be careful when setting exponential moving averages, because as you can see, the placement of them can sometimes be extremely off. Okay. Like I said, guys, this one's going to be short and sweet. Check out your MacBook, check out your PC, do your own research. Like I said, I'm gonna leave the specs to my MacBook in the description. It is kind of old, so I don't know if it could be the age that could be throwing off maybe the equation when it comes to calculating the exponential moving averages. But like I said, do your own research. Comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you in the next video.